Today I'm saying goodbye to my iPad. Uh, some time ago I did um, a video titled what's on my iPad third generation. I will put the link to that video um, in the description box below. But I just want to let you know the reason why I'm getting rid. I'm saying goodbye to my iPad third generation. Um, when I did that video, I used my iPhone 5 at the time to record that video. And now I've moved on to uh, iPhone 6 Plus, which is what I'm using to record this video right now. You can see some of the things um, that I use on the iPad. I'm using the reflector app to connect to my computer here. And uh, you can see some of the things um, that I use it for. It's been really a very productive tool for me. I've edited on my iPad before. I do quite a lot of things. You can see the mail app there. Of course, the one advantage um, that the iPad has over maybe a mobile phone or any other device that is smaller is just the screen size. Um, but in performance wise, I believe that the iPhone 6 Plus is actually more uh, effective in terms of performance, speed uh, of doing things than the iPad third generation. Um, so that's one of the reasons. But of course, you know, like I said earlier, I will miss the very large screen. Um, I will miss the very large keyboard. In fact, I have, it's been up to a month now. I started an experiment um, to see whether I can do a month without using my iPad. And I nearly made it. I think there were uh, two occasions. I had to go into it because of projects that I was doing with other people um, that I didn't have the details on the iPhone. So I had to go into it to receive, retrieve some information for them. But um, another thing that I found, because this is a, a 16 gigabyte uh, version, it's become very laggy lately. That's what I mean by, you know, performance comparisons between it and the iPhone 6 Plus. It's even a bit more laggy now because um, I'm connecting through a reflector to the computer. But to get things done, to switch it on, sometimes takes quite a long time. So um, I plan to replace this with another one, with another iPad, maybe a, maybe an iPad Air 2 or 4th Gen. You know, I haven't made the decision yet. And of course, with a larger hard drive capacity, as well because of the things that I do on my devices uh, in terms of video editing and all that. So I'm still in the process of making a decision on what to get next. So rather than this being an unboxing, it is a reboxing. Okay. Um, the screen is going to disappear now on the on this monitor as I quit and to get it started. I still have the original box. I believe in keeping the original content and even the bag that I was given at the time of purchase. So this is an iPad third generation box. Like I said, it's not an unboxing, it's a reboxing. I don't really do much unboxing on this channel. But I thought for the fun of it. This is one of the reasons why you want to keep the package that you receive, you know, your devices from. If you want to pass it down, it just gives a little bit of a special experience to whoever is receiving next whether it's you know a gift or even if you want to resell it um, so yes here we go the ipad doesn't really come with a lot of things inside it um, just very minimal you know and here we go it's going off now Out goes the, the, the charger. Out it comes out of the case that I have for it. Um, you can see these four Velcro sticky pads I have here um, is what I use to connect my iPhone 5 to the back of this. This, you know, this this has gone back to me, you know, it's gone back, we've, we've gone back together a long time. I need to, let's get rid of this. I 
I'm going to miss it, but not that much. And before it goes in the box, finally, in fact, that's not how it goes. Before it goes in the box, finally, I want to put all the uh, other attachments inside. I'll just reach here for the plug. This is not the original cable. This is I, Apple's original cable, but not the one that came with the product when I first opened it. Uh, Apple are famous for having frayed rubber uh, coverings on their chargers over a period of time. So that was what happened to the old one, but I bought another original one um, to replace it. So that goes there. The original documentation is still here. Original documentation that came. The seam removal. This one is a uh, Wi Fi and 3G version. Apple stickers haven't used. I think I bought these in 2012. I told you I used to have an iPhone 5 and I sold that with the original packaging as well with all of this thing. So yeah, I'm fond of keeping keeping my boxes. Then the plug that comes with that. I don't quite remember how this goes. I guess that's how it goes. take these out do I have to take do I split this into two mm. it's proving quite difficult Unless that doesn't go there, perhaps that just goes there. That looks even smaller. Let me show you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put the plugs back in here. And it doesn't fit that. Oh, there we go. And I guess that goes in there. There you go. So where would the... Where would the cable go? Under the documentation. There you go. There you go. Bye bye to the iPad third generation. Goes back in the original packaging. I've got here some extra screen protectors for it. I'm sure if you were given this even as a gift for something that's been used already, you would appreciate it. That is what makes the company Apple very special, that you can even receive something like that after a few years of use by its original owner and it still feels 
special when you get it. Until next time on this channel, thank you for watching and take good care.